I'm going to show you how to install WordPress locally on a Windows computer. We're going to do this in four simple steps. Step number one, we're going to download something called WAMP from WAMPserver.com. This is an application that helps us to run WordPress on a local Windows computer. WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. Number two, we're going to set up a database on WAMP for WordPress to use. Number three, we're going to download WordPress from WordPress.org. And finally, we're going to install WordPress on WAMP. I'm going to show you all of these steps in detail, step by step, click by click. The first step is to download WAMP from WAMPserver.com. And the URL for that is WAMPserver.com forward slash en. Once you're on the home page, just click on download. Now there are two flavors of WAMP server. They both do exactly the same thing, but depending on what version your operating system is running, if it's either a 32 bit or a 64 bit version, you will choose 32 or 64 bit. Now I'm running a 64 bit version, so I'm going to go ahead and choose 64. But if you're not sure what version your operating system is running, just choose 32 and it will work just fine. When you click on the download link, you're given a pop-up window. The window basically gives you a few warnings if you have a previous version of WAMP server installed and if you want to join the newsletter group. I'm going to go ahead and click on the download directly link here. And I'll be taken to the SourceForge website. Once download completes, it's time to install WAMP. Now, installing WAMP on your computer is exactly the same as any other software you've installed before. You just follow the wizard on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. It then gives you a license agreement. Just click on I accept the agreement and then click on next. Then you tell WAMP where you want to install. So I'm going to install it in my C drive in the directory WAMP. So make sure you make a note of where you install WAMP. Now you're given options to create a quick launch icon or a desktop icon. So I'm going to use the desktop icon here because I'm going to be using WAMP quite frequently. Then you get to the final stage of the wizard and just click on install and it will install on your computer. Okay, just before installation completes, you're asked to choose your default browser. Now, by default, it's Internet Explorer, but you can change that. To change it, you need to go to the program files under the C drive and then locate the executable file for the browser of your choice. I'm going to be choosing Chrome because that's the browser that I'm using. So I'm going to find the program files for Chrome. It's going to be under Google and then it's going to be Chrome then application and then I'm going to select Chrome and then you will click on open. If you're not sure how to do this, you can still use the Internet Explorer, which will work just fine. The next screen that you are presented with is the PHP mail parameter setting. Make sure to leave the SMTP field as local host and change the email field to an email of your choice and then click on next. You will then be taken to the final screen for completing the installation. Simply click on finish and make sure you have launch WAMP server now ticked to go to the WAMP server user interface. The Windows user account control might prompt you to confirm if you want to allow the program to make changes. Click yes. You might also be prompted by the Windows firewall. Make sure you click on allow access. You now have WAMP installed. Just a quick side note, there have been some instances where some users see an error such as WAMP can't start because there's a file missing. You can resolve this issue by downloading a visual C++ redistributable file and I'm going to provide a link to download that file that you need to resolve that issue. Next, we're going to create a database for WordPress. Now that you have the server environment on your computer, we need to create the database that will be used by WordPress. To create the database, you need to open phpMyAdmin, 
which is a graphical user interface that lets you create, modify, and manage users on the MySQL database. You can access the WAMP server and PHP MyAdmin right from the taskbar on Windows. To launch PHP MyAdmin, click on the small show hidden icons arrow on the taskbar, and then click on the WAMP server icon with one left click of your mouse, the WAMP server menu will open. From here, you can manage the WAMP server. You have separate options for managing each application. That is the Apache server, PHP, and MySQL. To create the database, just click on PHP MyAdmin, and it will then open in the browser that you chose in installation. To create a database, just click on the Databases tab, where you'll be taken to the Databases window. All you need to do here is to enter the name of the database, I'm calling mine Demo, and click on the Create button. You don't need to set anything else. The default database username is root and the password is blank. We'll need this later when we're installing WordPress. We're nearly there. Now we need to download a copy of WordPress. You can download the latest copy of WordPress from, you guessed it, WordPress.org. Click on the blue download WordPress link. The current version is the latest version, which is WordPress 4. If you're using Chrome, the file will download into your downloads folder, locate the folder, extract the contents and copy the extracted folder to your clipboard. We are now going to install WordPress. In the installation of WAMP, I install WAMP in the root of my C drive. We need to put the WordPress folder inside the www folder in WAMP. So in my case, the path for the WAMP folder is C drive, then WAMP, then www. There are two levels in the WordPress folder. The first folder is called WordPress, followed by the version number. I've removed mine. And when you open this folder, there will be another folder also called WordPress. I'm going to leave it at WordPress, but you can rename it if you like. To begin the installation, you need to open your browser and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash WordPress, followed by whatever you renamed the folder to if you renamed it. In my case, it's going to be localhost and then WordPress and then WordPress again. In WordPress 4, the installation process has changed somewhat. You're given the option to choose your language. I'm going to keep it as English United States. You are then taken to a page where WordPress informs you what you will need to install WordPress successfully. Click on Let's Go. Here, you need to provide details for WordPress to connect to the database. Now, remember, I called my database Demo, so I'm going to put that here. And remember, the default username is root and the password is blank. Leave the database host as localhost and you can leave the table prefix with WP and then click on submit. WordPress will then give you a message telling you that it has everything it needs to communicate with the database. Click on run the install to continue the installation. Now here you need to enter the site information. So you enter the site title and your username and a password and an admin email. Because your website is going to be on your local computer, you can untick allow search engines to index this site. And then click on install WordPress. And when that is complete, you should get a message confirming that it's been successful with your username and password. That's all there is to installing WordPress locally on your Windows computer and I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.